That little bottle there will hold 50 mils, okay? Uh, I think it's 50 mils or 60 mils. But um, once that's full, there's a tap on that line that we're gonna have attached, so I'll slow the tap down, um, and then it'll keep going. So I won't really be able to gauge to tell how much blood I'm gonna use, because I'll just keep that bottle full, because that bottle's got an anticoagulant in it. Um, otherwise, it would literally clot before I got to paint with it, so. Yeah, so how, how much can you do? I can, I can lose uh, about a point, 440 mils. And then I start to feel a bit lightheaded. Um, because I do it so often, I'm getting better and better, so I get used to it. I take a pint now and it's a can of Coke and I'm good to go. So, yeah, then I get home and then I feel like shit. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, for what we take out today, there's very little chance of passing out or anything like that. Um, then, uh, the only risk we've got really is a blockage. If the airbrush gets blocked on the nozzle end, um, inside the air cap, what happens is you get a bit of blowback. So it's like if you put your finger over the airbrush, it'll blow the air back into the bottle. Um, there is a breather valve on the bottle, but it probably only eat about 20, about 20 psi. It's running at 50 psi, so I could still end up with about 30 psi of pressure pushing the blood back into my body. If that happens, I'm pretty much going to have a heart attack and I'll be dead. So we we kind of don't want to. <laughs> um, at least I'll make it onto the news. <laughs> Thank you. 
being joined to his machine, painting with a fresh brother's name, booth 66. Kicked off very short. <laughs> Okay, this is right. Oh, this is right. Oh, this is right. Oh, this is Ha, 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 ha. 